Here's something that sounds wrong. When a plane lands, its tires hit the runway at over 150 miles per hour from zero, with no warm-up at all. At touchdown, aircraft tires go from completely stationary to highway plus speeds in a fraction of a second. They're instantly supporting tens of tons, absorbing vertical impact, handling side loads from crosswinds, and converting massive friction into heat. There's no gradual spin-up. Every landing is a shock event. This is why aircraft tires aren't filled with air. They're filled with dry nitrogen. Nitrogen doesn't react unpredictably to heat. It contains no moisture. It keeps pressure stable at altitude, and it reduces fire risk during heavy braking. At these speeds and temperatures, stability matters more than comfort. Here's the part most people misread. Aircraft tires are removed long before they look worn because internal damage appears before tread loss. Heat cycles weaken the casing and certification limits are deliberately conservative. In aviation, appearance doesn't matter. Remaining structural margin does. So here's the uncomfortable question. Are aircraft tires overbuilt? Or are car tires just wildly under stress by comparison? Because these aren't rubber wheels. They're shock absorption structures designed for instant violence.